Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and welcome back to my channel. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and I'm back, back, back again. <laughs> Neither of the dogs wanted to film today. They both are actually on the couch together right now, which is alarming. <laughs> alarming, because they don't get close to each other that often. Uh, but they, they're just relaxing on the couch, and I'm not, who am I to keep them from a leisurely day on the couch, you know? Anyways, I'm back again today to react to Amberlynn's latest vlog, and I, we, we gotta start off by talking about the title, because she's changed the title, and the title is also, I don't know, slightly infuriating to me as a concept. So let's just start off by noting that she has changed the title since she originally uploaded it. The original title was Thoughts on Becky, Week 2 Weigh In and Sending Nudes, Bar Vlog. And she updated it, I'm guessing, because many people commented and said, hey, Beck prefers to be called Beck now. So the updated current version of the title is now Thoughts on Beck, parentheses, my ex, in parentheses, week two weigh in and sending nudes, bar vlog. And I just, I mean, where where do you start with this? First of all, I, I am guessing that the reason that Amberlynn is even mentioning Beck, even alluding to Beck, is because Beck did come back to YouTube and do a live stream last week. So I'm guessing that's the whole reason that Amberlynn's even mentioning them, even bringing up back in this situation. It's very confusing to me because, uh, to be quite honest, I, I mean, I did watch that, that live stream. I did talk about it on my channel. And in full transparency, I don't think Beck really talked about Amberlynn that much. The most that Beck said on that live stream was that they were going to potentially maybe do a interview with Mr. Snowflake and then also discussed how people were suggesting that they just do their own tell-all situation on their own channel so that they could monetize that and make money from it. The other thing that I missed, actually, and, and a lot of you were so nice to point it out to me and give me the clips to, like, where specifically they talked about it, but the only other thing that really happened in regards to Amber Lynn in that live stream that we didn't already know from some other <laughs> live stream or tell-all from an ex was that Beck said that they were not aware of the FBI Frank story, they weren't aware of... FBI Frank calling their sister, anything like that. And I did leave that out of my video because I somehow missed all of that when I was watching through and listening to it on my own time. You know what though, I did just, just to be safe, go double check my notes from that, that live stream, the notes I took to talk about things in my video. The other things that Beck mentioned was that they didn't go to Pride that one time because it was too hot for Amberlynn. They said that they really do like Amberlynn's chili. Uh, they gave advice for a future girlfriend of Amberlynn's to just not just don't was specifically the word they used because they think that Amberlynn still has a lot of work. And I want to say we're very nice about it. Like, Beck was very, very nice about that and was like, Amberlynn still just needs to do a lot of work on her own before she should be dating anybody. Regardless, I don't know that any of it was hot and scathing. I don't know that it requires a response from Amberlynn, but I do know that, like, Amberlynn loves to use Beck as, as clickbait, in my opinion. And I say that specifically because even referring to Beck in the title is so different than the way that she's referred to other exes just in recent history. So she has made two videos referring to things with Feline, refusing to name Feline, but will say in her titles of her videos, like, I miss my ex. Let me, let me go get the specific titles for you on the ones about Feline, okay? There was one called, I regret hurting my ex. And then a video right before that was called, broke no contact with my ex. Both of those were about Feline, but couldn't put 
Feline's name in the title. And then arguably the, the situation that she should be addressing, that she should be taking time to talk about, was the interview with Casey that Mr. Snowflake did. And when Amber Lynn made a video referencing that, she called it the interview with my ex. So in those situations, she doesn't use the name of her ex whatsoever, but now because Beck came out and had a live stream, I guess we're just putting Beck's name in our, in our titles to get some clicks? It's just very interesting to me. I don't know what her motive is for doing that. That's why I'm assuming that, like, she thinks that a, a Beck vlog or addressing Beck will get a lot of views. And in the other cases, I guess with Casey, she probably just didn't want to bring attention to it being Casey, considering the seriousness of that. And I'm guessing she probably didn't use Feline's name because deep down somewhere, she still wants to, like rekindle some kind of feelings with old wifey. But it's irritating to me, okay? It's irritating that we have this whole thing here in this video title where she's calling the ex by name, but any other ex that she refers to, it's always my ex in the titles. I did also speculate that the ones about Feline, that she potentially put the thing about like, broke no contact with my ex, or like, I regret hurting my ex. I feel like she did also somewhat do that to make people think she might be talking about Casey, and that was easier to do, like easier to drum up some drama, and maybe people wouldn't be as interested in like a wifey Feline video. I don't know, but I'm, I'm irritated. <laughs> so I don't know. I, of course, I don't even know what she's about to say. I haven't watched the video. I don't know what's gonna happen in this video, but I, I think it's fair for me to just be a little irritated by it, and I, I imagine probably a lot of you are irritated by it too. And not to even mention like the sending nudes part of this title. I assume by the way that she spelled it, because she spelled it N-O-O-D-Z, that it's probably just about like ramen noodles or something. But uh, I've ranted for a long time, so we should really probably just get into the video. So let's get to, let's get to. Hey guys. Hi. Ooh, we're and starting, we're starting with the way in. Last vlog, I was not on track last night. I was on track the whole day. Oh my gosh. Also, I didn't realize, wait, 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 wait. I didn't realize she was not on track right before her official week two weigh-in. If you don't know, she's every every Monday, she's doing an official weigh-in, and every other day that she weighs in is not official. Although, is this Monday that she's weighing in? Actually, I'm not sure because she uploaded this video on Monday, so maybe we aren't to the Monday weigh-in yet. I don't know. I became weak, so I have a feeling I am going to be gaining weight today. Well, let's see. Which is unfortunate. Let's find out. But let's step on the scale. Let's and go. Out. Yeah. Also, love so much, love so much that she's like, I just, I do a lot of editing when it comes to, to the weight loss portion of the video with the weigh-in portion of the video, but yet we get this stunning scenery. Like, she's so good at editing, but like, the, the best she can give us to look at is the ceiling <laughs> and this light fixture. That's like what's so funny to me is like why do I care if you edit or not when like all you're giving us is this the ceiling moment situation type of deal. It's ready. Let's go. Okay, stepping on. 510. Okay, it's, it wasn't that bad. 10 .0. I think she oh was my God. I, I think she was 509 before. See, this is why you can't like beat yourself up over one day, girly. It's it's not the end of the world. Talking as much as I thought I was going to. So, that is a big relief. It's a blessing. The guilt I feel from being off track though definitely motivates me to stay on track today. All right. Whoops. Oh no. Oh no. That bothers me, but we're going to ignore it. It's gonna be fine, cause you have that whole entire square to write in. <laughs> you have the whole entire square, and the only thing you're writing is how much you weigh for the day, so you're fine. You're doing great. Five, ten, point zero. Oh my god, it's not even a full pound. It's not even half a pound. It's four tenths of a pound. Yesterday was the off track day. Y'all, it is freezing. She could literally it's just go take a shit. I know I say that all the time, but like, it's true. Just go, maybe, well, maybe she already took the shit for the day. Maybe the shit has already been taken. 
like literally 10 degrees outside. I just came back in with walking Twinkie. Okay. And I swear my fingers are numb. It's I'm so cold. Me and my mom are going to hang out. It's so cold. Judy and Poe fucking hate it. <laughs> they, they hate going out right now. And I'm right there with them. It's miserable outside. I'll show up there. It's supposed to snow tomorrow. Not looking forward to that. There was love an snow. last night. I do love snow. Like, what is happening? I'm not cut out for this type of weather. Like, I want the spring and the fall 24-7. Well, like, that's what I need in my life, and that's what should be here. I feel, I feel like you might want to take that up with the old global warming, <laughs> with the old climate change. Take it up with them, you know? I say that stuff all the time because I'm like, I, I don't know why. I'm the dumbass that chose to live in Chicago. No idea why I chose this life, <laughs> really, truly. Every winter, I'm so miserable. And you know, maybe someday I'll move to a warmer climate, but it's not today. <laughs> it's, it's not right now. Small day. Not icicles and snow. Like, I'm just not in it to win it. Okay, so we're about to go into this place big called box. Big Box. What, what like do you know about having a big box? <laughs> I sometimes, you know, a lot of people will say things like, Zach, why why do you make all of these like lewd innuendo sexual jokes all the time? And you know what? To some extent, I agree. But also, I Noel and I just watched the most recent season of Great British Bake Off, which was one of the most wholesome shows ever. And you know the amount of times they made fucking jokes about balls on that show, okay? They were constantly making jokes about balls. And in like the first episode, um, one of the contestants made a beaver cake. And, <laughs> and Prue literally said something along the lines of like, what do you, what do you know about a, a nice looking beaver or something like that? And everybody on set lost it. So if the people, if the great pure people of Great British Bake Off can make some jokes about beavers and bulls, if Prue Leith from the Great British Baking Show can make a joke about somebody's beaver, then I can make a joke about a big box, you know? <laughs> you feel me? Like a bunch of Amazon stuff that was never delivered. Oh, is that what that is? It's a bin store. Well, oh, come on. I, I'm kind of obsessed. I'm kind of obsessed, and this is kind of the perfect store for Amber Lynn, because she's going to get to touch a bunch of shit, which she just did. It's a bunch of shit from Amazon she probably doesn't need, and she doesn't even have to waste, like, money on shipping. She can just get it right here, right now. Touching, touching, touching. Ooh! A uh, PlayStation controller? Okay. <laughs> not, not the butt first coffee. Coffee station. I love drink with you. I love drink with you. I love drink with you. <laughs> Wait, what, what? I feel like it needs some punctuation in there somewhere. What's this, Amber? <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> Come on, wig! Wig. Oh, she oh needs god. that. <laughs> She's no, getting that. You gotta drink your water, though. Just that's that that water bottle. I don't know that Amber Lynn buys a lot of them these days, but that's totally something she would have bought back in the day, back in the 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 Beck era specifically. Okay, so I didn't get anything, but my mom got this uh, three hundred sixty five days of words to inspire. Oh, but it is a twenty twenty two calendar, which is totally fine. What's today's? It says your future is bright. Isn't that cute? That is cute. I, I guess. Love that still. I love all these positive. You look like a million bucks. Oh, thanks. <laughs> but be silly, be honest, be kind. I love that. Me too. And like every single one is like art. Oh, wait, <laughs> I'm obsessed. Ooh, it's adorbs. That's oh cool. my God. <laughs> oh my God. I feel like this is the most Amberlynn that Mama Lynn has ever sounded. <laughs> Amberlynn definitely came from her mother or vice versa because that, they, they, woo, I never realized how related they are. Getting excited over these like positive affirmations from a calendar that's not even to date. It's a 2022 calendar. It's actually super cute. 
Do your best. Look! How could you? Keep How could I what? How could I? Ever. This was How? 75 cents. Please forecast 100%. <laughs> fantastic. Hell yeah. Oh. So I saw this icon oh my God. and I was like, what is that? Is that where all Amberlynn Reed's videos are performed? Get it? Haha. -ha. I'm, I'm looking for the joke. <laughs> I'm looking for the laughs. Where are the laughs, Amberlynn? <laughs> Where are the laughs? Hey guys, this Hi. is today, January 14th. I'm sorry that okay. I started vlogging Okay, that's yesterday. Sunday. My mom and I ended up going to my grandma's house, supporting Work. her, visiting her, and then my grandma took me and my mom out to her favorite restaurant. Work. So I was just spending Where did you eat? time with them. But it is the next day. Let's do the weigh-in. Hello. Hello. Let's see how it's going. You, she went out to eat the, the day before. I'm curious if she considers that a good or a bad day. I'm just curious. Great. Thank you. Stepping on Let's now. go. Let's go. 500.9.6 pounds. Okay. So she's back to what she was, was before. I bigger loss because I feel like I barely ate anything yesterday. But well, you know what? here we I'll are. That's literally a loss is a loss, girl. A, lo a loss is a loss, girly pop. 509.6 and yesterday. Were you on track? I was well, there on we go. track. Okay. That is such a lousy heart because I was looking through the camera. I need to not do that. <laughs> so tomorrow is okay. week two way <laughs> to see how much I officially lost. So we'll this see. Can, can go like any way. I could do good today and lose more weight <laughs> or tonight, which is usually nighttime, where uh -huh. I slip up and do bad. I could do really bad and gain a few pounds overnight and then not lose anything that would suck big time but it's so wild to me that she's already <laughs> she's already thinking about about like pre-planning how it could go bad tomorrow like i i think if you just change your mindset to like it's gonna go great i i know that i'm just working towards tomorrow one day at a time but here we are. She's already like, well, it could go bad. It could. I mean, which I guess is true. She's not lying. I guess that's a, a realistic way to look at it. But sometimes you got to manifest these things, you know? I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that that won't it, happen. It sounds like Yo, you are. I don't know about you, but I normally do not eat things like this. I normally always get, like, turkey burgers. Uh -huh. well, for some reason, Vidalia, probably pronouncing it wrong, <laughs> onion beef patties just sounded so good. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sounds so good. Mmm, nothing, nothing more appetizing than than the word beef patties. Honestly, when when she just said the word beef patties, my mouth started watering. Mmm, and a Vidalia onion. I think it is Vidalia, but honestly, I'm not really sure. So she could be right too. Uh, but even ah, oh, just onion beef patties. Just forget the word. We're not sure how to pronounce onion beef patties. Doesn't that just mmm? <laughs> Get you a little wet. <laughs> God, why did I say the word wet? <laughs> and I had one last night. Absolutely amazing. Amazing. And I put some shredded cheese on top. Uh-huh. And it melted and it was Does delicious. It, so I'm actually about to make one. Right I'm now. curious, is it, it it's probably just the patty, right? I, I'm just confused a little bit because of the picture next to it. Is this like a frozen? Is everything, it's probably not on a bun. It's really probably just the patty, right? I'm sounding so stupid, but I've never bought a, an, an onion beef patty like this. Are the onions in the patty? Y'all, I have been Lego <gasps> Oh! I finished the Polaroid. That's that wild. So cute. What is this? Wait, but what is this, this uh, beef stick from the 7-Eleven next to it? The, the Jack Links. I'm more, I was initially interested in, in the Polaroid camera Lego, but now I'm seeing this beef stick and tell me more about that. And you should put these pictures in here. Love a picture. And they like come out. I don't know. I'm obsessed. By the way. Uh-huh. This is a no from me. Oh, oh no. So gross. Like I took one bite and I hated it. Like Damn. there's this weird layer on the outside that is just not good. I'm so, I got this from 7-Eleven. I'm sorry, but 
But the idea of most beef sticks from the 7-Eleven, it sounds so gross to me. <laughs> I'm sure some of it's good, but honestly, it feels like a no for me, too, and I didn't even have to take a bite of it, Amberlynn. Stick, stick to the onion beef patties. Let's stick to that. I also love how she's like, uh, nothing about a, a, a hamburger. Usually, I usually get turkey burger, because usually nothing about beef sounds good to me, and she's over here eating these beef sticks from the 7-Eleven. Work. Iconic, honestly. A beef stick? I usually like a beef stick. I know that's uh -huh. shocking. I, I know, because I'm not a meat girly, but some I'm of them not a are meat good. girly. She this. she really just needs to move past also saying she's not a meat girly because I've seen her eat more meat on her channel than I've seen her eat a vegetable, you know? <laughs> like she is such a lie that she's not a meat girly. New. So don't get that folks. But I I Legos wasn't probably gonna great. get it anyways. I have no more Legos left. I do have two knockoff Legos, so I just ordered a couple more Lego brand Legos okay, off work. Of Amazon. Come on, um, money bags. Not like any like huge ones or anything, but they're just like a couple that I've been wanting to do. All right, next day. Oh, the official weigh-in. Here we go. It is January 15th. It is Monday. And Mondays are the official weigh-in. The official. Um, how much should I lose? <laughs> the official, even though she's weighing in every other single day of the week. It's so silly to me still. I, I, I'm sure... I'm sure I get it. It's like, oh, once a week we're checking in to see a weekly weight loss. But I'm just like, well, then let's just weigh in once a week then, you know? Uh, how is this day any different than the seven other days of the week? Well, six other days of the week <laughs> that you weigh yourself. That week. Hello. It's Hello. ready, bitch. It's ready. Okay, guys, so I'm stepping on. Let's go. Five hundred and seven. Oh, oh, she lost. Oh, that's like a five pound yes, weight loss altogether awesome. since last I week. I did really freaking good. Oh my God, I'm so happy with this. There we go. I was 7.4. Hell yeah. Seven's my favorite number. Hell yeah, I brother. I do have one. <laughs> okay, you guys, so I was 5.07.4. Oh, wow. 5.2. So amazing. I was on track yesterday. So this week I am down five point two. Well, there you I am go. So, so proud of that. There you go. And in total, this. Oh, all the, we're adding so another far, set of parentheses. Days, I'm down eight point four pounds. Wow. Which I'm very happy with that because my goal is to lose a hundred pounds this year, and to reach that goal, I just need to lose one point nine pounds. A week. Okay. That's it. So, I'm so two. Like way so ahead. so two pounds a week. Let's just say two. <laughs> Wouldn't it be so much easier if we just said two pounds a week? Schedule. I am so proud of this weigh in. Yay. Okay, guys. So I went on Hi. to Instagram. I told you guys to ask me questions. I figured it could be fun to do some is rapid this, fire questions. Is this what this is? I have been seeing her post Q and A's, and I feel like she hasn't really been answering them on Instagram. Is that what this is going to become? Is that how she's going to fill time in her videos now? So let's get into it. Favorite thing about living in Oklahoma so far? Definitely living on my own. I love living on my own. My rules, do I do whatever you? I want. Everything is mine. It's like my own little, like, is, haven. See, now, in the past, not everything has been yours, but hasn't it always been your rules and doing whatever you want, regardless of if somebody was living with you? Hasn't it always kind of been that? Sanctuary. I like doing things on my time, and I don't know, just something about it is just so freeing, and I never expected to love it this much, but I really do. When did you start listening to The Weeknd? So it was 2011. I don't, I don't give a shit about The Weeknd. When I heard Same Old Song, I became I obsessed with I him. Don't. There's like a few artists a that shit. I'm just like majorly <laughs> obsessed with. I honestly, I honestly love that people love music. Um... And, and there are some people I would love to hear about their musical interests from, and I certainly do share mine, and I'm sure sometimes you're like, stop fucking talking about Twice, stop talking about K-pop, Zach, we don't care about it. But I'm just not really interested in <laughs> anything about Amber Lynn's musical taste, personally. Thanks, Miley Cyrus, Billie Eilish, The Weeknd, and there's a few others. 
And my most recent ex actually surprised me with like a poster. It was so sweet of her because she had a record player and she wanted oh, to put some posters near it. And that's interesting that we can say my most recent ex instead of wifey or Feline. <laughs> where we're not saying, we're not calling her by name when we're talking about her doing something nice for you and getting you a gift. But we're going to put old, old Beck's name at the title of our video. One of my favorite artists up there. She didn't really care for The weekend like I did, but she did it for me. She, she surprised me. I thought that was sweet. But The weekend, me and The weekend, we've, we're besties, okay? Uh, When's the last time you drank okay. alcohol? I actually have not drank since December 31st. Okay. I had to drink on New Year's Eve, and I haven't drank since then. Work. When will you be ready for a relationship? That's, that's honestly, honestly probably for the best. Let's let's just be for, for real, for real. Honestly, I don't know because... I kind of like the single life. Of course, there is things that I miss about being in a relationship. There is things. But I honestly think it's just like, I'm missing those things with my ex. We don't have to get into like detail, but there are just like a lot of things that I miss with her specifically. I, again, again, when when we're going to talk about said ex in a, in a positive way, we're not using her name, which is also interesting and probably for the best because, you know, we, we are aware from Amberlynn's own words that Feline slash wifey doesn't want anything to do with her. <laughs> Requested her to not talk to her. Um, so, you know, it's probably for the best, but we also know that, like, in the past, Beck has asked that of of her, too. <laughs> and, and what has Amberlynn done with that? Nothing. What are your thoughts on sending nudes? Oh, so, honestly, that's oh, something... We're, we're actually... T we're not talking about Robin Noodles. <laughs> We're actually talking about the real concept of sending nudes. All right. Okay, work. Let's let's go. That um, I low-key do. I only do it if I'm really connected with someone. We're really into each other. I trust them. And they have to, like, ask for it because I'm I, sorry, but unsolicited? No. Well, the sure. Obviously. Violent, they're like, hey, you want to send over, like, a... A titty pic. <laughs> we have uh, to be really special because I don't just be sending those out to anybody. Like, you have to be a special girly pop, okay? But I'm <laughs> <laughs> all, all kinds of thoughts and, and feelings. Um, First of all, live your truth. If you want to send a nude to somebody, send a nude to somebody. I mean, I, I really don't think that's the most scandalous thing. Like, people have naked bodies, whoever, whatever. I would say from from the perspective of like knowing that Amberlynn is a public figure kind of a thing and she's talking about like I only send these to really special people or like people that I really have a connection with or care about. My concern is that we know she allegedly fell in love with somebody in the Instagram DMs in a matter of like a couple weeks, you know? So I guess my concern is like how does she gauge that? How does she vet, like, the concept of, like, you're somebody that I have a really special connection with and I want to send this photo to? Because I could see, and especially now that she put this out there, I could see some people trolling her, unfortunately. And I think that that's really shitty. And, like, if somebody ever did share, like, her nudes without her permission or things like that, like, that's a very shitty thing to do. Um, I guess, like, from a perspective of being, like, a, a public figure and also knowing you know people love to troll like <laughs> I don't I don't know personally if I was in her shoes that I would do that right like I, I don't know like knowing how she meets girls on the internet knowing how she has met every single girl on the internet since at least well I mean even Crystal she met online right <laughs> like she she meets her girlfriends and partners through the internet and you just uh, unfortunately these days can't trust people like that you know it's different I guess if I've like met you and interacted with you in person and I send you something but like I don't know Amberlynn girl you better be safe I'm just saying that like for for your good for your own good there's nothing wrong with sending a nude when I was when I was much younger and not a YouTube personality and also not in a committed relationship, I probably set some myself. <laughs> so no shame there. I just hope she's using like some kind of discretion or caution because I just don't trust the people of the internet to to be kind to her in that situation. I don't see anything wrong with it. Like if two people are into each other, go for it. Did it snow in Oklahoma? Yes, it did. 
So the last question I'm going to do is, how do you feel about Becky talking about you again? <sighs> so honestly, oh, oh my God. this also just reminded me another thing, which uh, maybe she's going to say that she didn't even watch the live stream from Beck. Maybe, maybe that's the thing. But my other thing is, is if she is going to address anything that Beck said, then that means that she would have watched the live stream and should have known without having people tell her in her comments that Beck prefers to be called Beck, you know? Like, like it shouldn't have taken people in the comments telling her that. But maybe she's about to say, like, I didn't watch anything, I didn't see the live stream, and Beck can say whatever Beck wants to say. It's been a little weird, only because she was the one who initially said, keep my name out your mouth or the law is going to get involved. And then I think it was a few months later, I brought up the law just to remind her uh -huh. that, that was initially what she wanted. It was my way of uh -huh. agreeing. No, well, no, no. The, I, you didn't, it wasn't a reminder from what I recall. Let me just go see if I can find the post that Beck made about it because if I recall correctly, ooh, do you like that little typing ASMR? If I recall correctly, the way that Beck said it was that it was a threat. It wasn't just Amberlynn casually saying like, oh, hey, just a reminder, you said this about me. But let me go see if that, that post is still up on Beck's channel. All right, here, here are the posts that Beck made about this situation, okay? So the first one, Beck said, so I've been threatened that if I speak on my truth, the law will be involved. Look how I was publicly treated, but I'm being threatened with the law. I saw the breakup video and the reason she's being so graceful with this one is because she thought I wasn't good enough, but this one somehow was. I did everything for her, and just like always, I was treated like garbage. I suffer every day because of what I was put through, but I'm the one who has to stay quiet. How is that fair? And then I believe Amberlynn did come out at that time, and if I remember correctly, maybe on Instagram, and clarified that Beck was the one to bring up the law first or whatever. And so Beck made a follow-up post that said, she wants me to clear up that I mentioned the law first. Yes, back last September. Why? Because she wouldn't stop talking about me. This time, though, she said, if either of us talk about each other, we can get the law involved. That was just a few days ago since she texted me that. She wanted that cleared up, so there you go. So, I mean, I guess it does sound like, based on those original posts from Beck and maybe what Amber Lynn is saying, that, that maybe the original situation was Beck was just like, you've been talking about me repeatedly. Like, I really can't do this anymore. We've agreed to stop talking about each other. Please stop. And then it sounds like maybe now there's been some change in how Beck feels about that. Either way, I think either of them being like, I'm going to get the law involved is kind of silly. I'm glad I went and, and double-checked that. So it sounds like their stories, they're on the same page about that. But the, the concept of involving the law is so silly to me. But I also feel like Amber Lynn has talked so much extensively about all of her exes that they should all feel more than welcome to share whatever they want to share on the internet. You know, that's, uh, that's really been my feelings, philosophy, and understanding of that situation since people started coming out, since her exes started coming out. But like now she's talking about me. I don't know. Share your story. Share your truth. Uh -huh. Share what you think is your truth. Uh -huh. I, I don't know what else to say about it share, at this point. Share what you think is your truth. Okay. Interesting way to word that. I'm just not really into this whole Let's talk shit about our ex for money. I I personally am not going to do it. <laughs> and, uh, she said, I'm not into this whole talk shit about your ex for money unless it's me. She, well, she did just say right at the end there, right before I paused, that she was allegedly not going to do it. But I don't know how she even says that when she, like, purposely is putting Beck's name in the title of her video. Like, what do you call that then? You know? <laughs> like, what do you call doing that? I mean, honestly, truly, like, I, for all I'm concerned, they can all say whatever they want. I think if Amber Lynn was thoughtful about managing all of these relationships in the way that they ended to begin with, she wouldn't have talked the shit that she did originally. Because let's just be clear, after she broke up with Beck, she did talk a lot of shit about Beck. Just to be clear, that's why Beck was like, please... 
please stop talking about me. And they eventually came to an agreement that is apparently over, right? But like, Amber Lynn is like acting like she's never done this before. Like she's never participated in it. She's out here talking about, about wifey still. <laughs> she just made a video about Casey and, and, and used my ex in the title realistically because she wanted people to click on her video so she can make money. I did go against my morals at the time. Uh, Destiny started saying uh -huh. all those things about me and oh, I yeah. live stream and then started doing the same. Oh, oh yeah, you had a lot of shit to talk about Destiny too. Which like, honestly, I think it's fair if you wanted to respond to it that that is your prerogative. <laughs> but like, it's just wild that that you are acting like you, you didn't do it first because you talked a lot of shit about Destiny at different times too. Like, I, it's just so wild to me. And these are also people outside of maybe, like, wifey and then, um, well, even Casey. Like, you made videos about Casey to the extent that, like, I feel like it's okay for Casey, especially in that situation, to tell his side of the story if he wants to. But, like, these are all, every single ex that we know about on the internet, you have profited from them in your videos in some kind of way at some different time or point, you know? Like... Even just from them specifically being in your videos. I was in a very bad headspace at the time, but I'm not going to let that be an excuse because even if I was in a bad one now, and I still wouldn't let myself sure. become I, that type we will, of We'll see. I'm not going to do it. She can do whatever she wants and I'm not going to say a damn thing because I just wish her nothing but healing, happiness, All right. health, success, well, let's all see the it things then. in the world. But it is a little confusing because she was the one who actually <laughs> brought up the law. Okay, you guys, so I'm Amazon Also, I, I find it interesting that she's referring back to the law thing in general because I don't think that's what... I mean, I guess that kind of answers the question, but the original question didn't ask anything about the law situation. It just asked, like, how do you feel? But I guess that does answer the question. Let me stop talking myself in circles. Sometimes I have to just verbally process like this because this is the first time I'm hearing her say all of this, right? This is my real-life reaction, and sometimes that's just how I process shit. Right. Things came overnight. What are these slippers? These are just clean dishes that I have to put away, so don't mind that. I wasn't and minding I really it. Hurt my finger. This nail oh. almost came off. You guys looked so bad when I was opening these boxes. Oh no! Anyways, okay, it's so almost have... as if you could use a pair of scissors to open the boxes. Some slippers. I'll show you guys those out of the package in a minute. And I got some Legos. Come on, I didn't architecture. Think this would be bigger, but that's okay. It's New York City. I got some roller skates. Oh come on, roller skate. That's the fun. One. Which is the bouquet of roses. Oh, wow. Which, you guys know me. You guys know my favorite flower. Did I know that? Red roses <laughs> with baby's breath. And that's literally what this is. Did I know that about so her? So here I, are the slippers. I actually genuinely do know a lot of stuff about her. I, I Maybe I just forgot it because it's kind of irrelevant. But I didn't know that about her, I feel like. Let's see if they fit. They actually Ooh. fit perfect. And they're so cute. Wow. So now I'm going to add Legos okay. to my little collection here. Not this one, though, because I'm about to do this one. Let's yes, go. Y'all, I'm not going to lie to you. The last two days has been so boring. I have been wanting to go outside and walk. But well, let's do it. Oh, it's cold. It's cold and I see. I have been able to take Twinkie to the uh, dog park, but that is like literally part of my apartment complex, which uh -huh. I prefer to walk her so we can get like exercise and stuff. Uh -huh. Sadly, I have not been able to do that. And I've been really, really itching to do the mile mm, walk without Twinkie. Let's scratch that the itch. the next couple of months is just going to be freezing Let's scratch cold. that itch. I cannot imagine myself walking in 10 degree weather, 20 degree weather, like it's not gonna happen. I, I don't think it's gonna be that way for the next few months. Even in Chicago, in the next day or two, it's supposed to get a little bit warmer. I mean, we're still gonna be in like 10 degree weather, but I would imagine that Oklahoma would be a bit, a bit nicer. It starts getting up like the 50s, I mean, I don't know, I'm not 60s, a weather man. It's like perfect walking weather, in my opinion. And I'm just like, I need that weather we need because it. I want to walk so bad. Let's like, go. Who is she? Like, I want to go walk a mile. Let's like, go. Why? But yeah, like a lot of people enjoy the snow and I'm just not that girly. Like I used to love the snow, but now I just feel trapped, honestly. Because, honestly, like, I don't same. want a single pair of shoes that is like ice approved or <sighs> walk a mile in these ballet flats. They don't wear these shits where I'm from. <laughs> 
I can't get that fucking Iggy Azalea song out of my head. I literally walked past Noel earlier today, and I was like, walk a mile in my Louboutins. They don't wear these shoes where I'm from. And he was like, Zach, what the fuck is your problem? <laughs> like, what is your problem? No approved. So when I do go out there, it's like, it hurts my feet. Hurts. Oh my God. Hurts. It's just hard to find shoes that like work for me. Anyways, and my I family. Enjoy this vlog. I feel that. Bye. Bye. <laughs> See ya. Well, there you go. I'm I'm enraged about about the the Beck thing because it's so funny to me that she's like I don't I don't agree with Beck coming on here and and like trying to make money off my name, which like Beck isn't isn't probably raking in the cash from the YouTube. Just to be clear, Beck comes in like once every six months to make a YouTube video or a live stream and that's that on that. I mean, Beck does make money from it. That There's no lie there, but it's not like, like Amberlynn who's posting consistently is making money. And then the fact that like, clearly Amberlynn did use Beck's name for money, which is fine. That's Amberlynn's prerogative, but like you can't get mad at Beck for using you and, and your relationship for money when you're clearly hoping to do the same thing, you know? <laughs> it's just so funny to me. It doesn't make no sense. And especially when you'll use Beck's name, but you won't you won't fully be out here using Feline's name, Casey's name. You did just mention Destiny in that video. But it's like, it's clear that there's some people who you won't name, but you're happy to name Beck, you know? You feel me? Anyways, I don't know. You can let me know your thoughts down below. <laughs> Maybe I'm alone in this, but it's irritating to me as a concept and or funny that like her logic is so contradictory. But here we are. That's all I have time for today. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did and you're brand new to my channel, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit the bell button so you get a notification every single time I post a new video. Make sure to leave me a like, hit share, and leave me a comment. How did I mix that up? And follow me on all my social media. I love you all so much, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!